I'm in the parking lot of the Newburgh, New York Public Library, taking a look at the Iron Horse Outlaw mountain bike. Iron Horse Outlaw. I don't really know what makes this thing an outlaw. It's pretty banal to me. With its grip shift shifting and its alloy brake levers and its spongy brakes that haven't been adjusted in a long time. Normal V-brakes. Those work all right. Steel hub, alloy rim, 26 inch wheels. Nothing out of the ordinary. A little pinstripe on the fork. Does that make it an outlaw? Race proven high tensile steel. I don't know what races they're going to that they're proving high tensile steel during the race. Most race bikes are chromoly. 16 inch frame for a small woman. Sold at The Bicycle of Paramus, New Jersey. It's a cool little shop. Nice people working there. Route 17, check it out, 17 North. Just before you get into like, I don't know, Mawa. Front derailleur, unmarked. It's little brazons on the frame. Seven speeds in the back, three speeds in the front for a total of 10. I'm just kidding, it's 21, you multiply. Shimano derailleur back there. Back brakes. Iron horse padded stubby little saddle. It's just a basic women's mountain bike for a small, you know, a small rider, like up to maybe five, six. And I guess I'll pedal it around, it's kind of windy. This parking lot's pretty cool though. I think the wind comes from the river. I'm in like a low gear. Check it out. Going across the parking lot, just zigzagging. There's a big church right there. A little bit bumpy, a little bit windy. This bike is really smooth, nothing is loose on it. And I put 55 pounds in the tires, so they're, they roll pretty well. The brakes work even though they're a little bit spongy. I guess you can't really get much more simple on a multi-speed bike than a kind of lower end 26 inch mountain bike. It's really a rugged bike, kind of bulletproof. Not a lot that's gonna go wrong with it. And replacement parts are plentiful. Thing needed two tubes and I had them. So I'm gonna drop off this little curb here. Head back to where we started. Whoa. No suspension, but I'm not accustomed to suspension anyway. So if you're a short woman, or I guess a short man, who cares? And you want a bike that is simple and reliable and cheap, Look no further than the Iron Horse Outlaw. I'm just kidding, but it's okay.